Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we have Rick Rhodes in today, general manager here. General manager, station manager, what's your title? G G general manager, I mean, the official title is vice president oh. slash general manager. Uh -huh. He's yeah. a vice president. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, but but, he's <laughs> you know, janitor, you know, whatever. You do it all. You actually yeah, do. We, yeah, we, we do a lot. Yeah. 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 You adjust the plastic mats in the newsroom when you come through. I do, which are, <laughs> yes, which are not very It's a whole other show, you guys. Yeah, right? Okay. Sorry. I had to throw that in there. Okay. Anyway, he's in for Tia today. We're talking about a stand-up comedy festival. Uh, we have uh, Vinny and Brian here with us, both comedians, both organizers of this great event. Thank you guys, first of all, for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you. Last sure. year, you came on to talk about the first ever comedy festival and now here we go into the second one and I can already tell it's bigger it's more complex you have more acts more ways for people to get involved mm -hmm. so yeah. how has it changed what did you learn the first year well <laughs> <laughs> I mean everybody loves comedy that's a given but like some of the things we've changed this year is we brought a showcase so like as you heard tonight's a free show so we're doing a showcase, which is just getting comics from different regions like Green Bay, Appleton, Milwaukee, even local comics. They're gonna all be doing like 10 minutes. And then we have a headliner closing that out. Uh, and then we'll have like your regular featured headliner shows on like Thursday. And then Friday morning, or sorry, Friday's show, we're gonna have like a regular headliner feature. And then the late show's gonna be a variety where they're gonna have all the comics from the festival. Oh, so cool. that's a big change. And then we're gonna have an improv group this year too. Very so. cool. And we, uh, Brian, we added Barrel and Beam this year. Yeah. Uh, talk about that a little bit on, on what the thinking was behind that. Yeah, our, I mean, our main goal when we started out the festival was to uh, expand it, make it bigger and go to different venues and whatnot. Ordock's an amazing venue and they've been great to us, but um, we just wanna make it bigger, better, you know, what have you. And we can only do so many shows at Ordock. So we uh, reached out to Barrel and Beam and they were more than willing to take on a few shows on Saturday for us, and uh, we're gonna have the improv group there, and it's gonna be a great venue for us. It. it really is. We just did a mock setup the other day there, and it's I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Now improv is that anybody can pop in, or do you have set people that do that and they just flow? Oh no, it's a it's a professional okay. uh, comedy okay. troupe out of Green Bay. They actually have their own theater oh. down there. They do it every like every weekend, cool. like it's their bread and butter. So they're professionals. Uh, I think I saw them on New Year's two or three years ago. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, okay, so remember whose line is it anyway? Yeah. 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 yeah so it's similar yeah. to that. Yeah. It's yeah. Improv They'll comedy. get like the, the crowd involved. Like they'll ask the crowd, like, what do you want to do for the set? Or, like, what do you want yeah. them to joke mm -hmm. about? So yeah. they'll get the crowd involved. And yeah. It's, and it's, it's fun for everybody. I mean, improv was huge in the like, late 90s. Yeah. And it kind of faded away, but it never got less funny. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. still great. I feel like it's kind of coming back. No? Yeah. Improv yeah. comedy? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I, I hear, you know, my brother, he loves going to stand-up comedy, but he, he'll go to improv nights all the time. I always thought that meant he went up on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe he did. I, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. know. He I might. Know. He yeah. might. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'm learning something here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, very cool. Um, for people that want to check this out, though, what's... There is a there are a lot of pieces. There mm -hmm. are some new things. So yeah. how do they figure out what where they want to go, what they want to do? Um, there's a couple different ways. We have a Facebook site or a Facebook page, and that has a schedule on there with all the events and what time they are and what venue. Um, you can also go to tickets.nmu.edu, and if you take uh, if you click on any of the uh, uh, tickets for the comedy festival, there will be a layout in the description of all the all the shows, okay. and you can go back out and you can find out exactly what day and time you gotta go to to okay. get the tickets for that. Is it still set up that say, I wanna go to the seven o'clock show on Friday and the 9.30 on Saturday, I can do those two shows or is it like a one day ticket? Every show is single person. Every, okay. Yep. Yep. So yeah, you pick your shows, pick your times. We had that last year where you could do nightly passes or event passes, and frankly, we just didn't sell a whole lot of them. Okay. So. Yeah. It okay. was hard to account for, too, so yeah. we decided to do the individual passes. So yeah. it's working out really well awesome. so far. Yep. Okay. Well, we want to take you through the entire uh, four days and talk a little bit more about some of the headliners and the acts coming in. You guys have made some wonderful, wonderful graphics that we want to put up. But we have to take another quick break. We'll be right back.